Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the volume of a triangular prism. Now remember, the volume is the amount of space an object takes up. And for any prism, we can use the formula, the area of the base times the height. So again, the volume for any prism is the area of the base times the height. That capital B means the area of the base, and that H stands for height. Now, since we're working with triangular prisms, we're going to have triangular bases. So to find the area of those triangular bases, we use the formula base times height divided by two, the formula for the area of a triangle. So this is a more specific formula over here for triangular prisms. Again, because we're using the formula for the area of the triangular bases, base times height divided by two, and then we multiply that by the height of the prism. So let's jump into number one and take a look at the bases of that triangular prism. Now the bases of a prism are congruent and parallel polygons. In the case of triangular prisms, we're going to take a look at the triangles that are congruent and parallel. So for number one, that triangle up front is congruent and parallel to the triangle in the back. Now we can't see that full triangle in the back, but it is congruent and parallel. So congruent means same exact size and shape. Now we name prisms by their bases. That's why we call this a triangular prism because our bases are triangles. Now the height is going to be the distance between those bases. The height isn't necessarily going to be vertical or up and down. Again, it's defined by the distance between those bases. So let's find the volume of number one and we'll start by writing out our formula. So volume equals base times height divided by two, which is the formula for the area of a triangle times the height of the prism. Let's plug in. So volume equals, well, base of the triangle is five centimeters. So we'll plug in five times the height of the triangle is four centimeters. And let's divide by two and multiply by the height of the prism, not the height of the triangle. We need to find the height of the prism. So that's going to be six centimeters. Let's solve. So five times four is 20 divided by two is 10. So that's the area of our triangular base. 10 times six is going to give us 60. So volume equals 60 cubic centimeters. Again, I did five times four, which is 20 divided by two is 10 times six is 60. So our final answer is 60 cubic centimeters. So let's move on to number two and we'll start by writing out our formula. So volume equals base times height divided by two times the height of the prism. Now we plug in. So the base of our base, the triangular base is going to be 10 inches right here. So we'll plug in 10 times the height, which is seven inches divided by two. Now the height of the prism, the distance between the two bases is going to be three inches. So we multiply it by three. So we end up with 10 times seven, which is 70. 70 divided by two is 35. So we need to solve 35 times three. And if we can't solve that using mental math, that's okay. Come to the side in order to work through that problem. So let's do 35 times three up here to make sure we get the correct answer. Three times five is 15. Three times three is nine plus one is 10. So we get 105. So our volume is 105 cubic inches. And we are done. To recap, we did 10 times seven is 70, divided by two is 35. 
and then we did 35 times 3. That 3 is the height of the prism. And we got 105. So our final answer, volume equals 105 cubic inches. So there you have it. There's how you find the volume of a triangular prism. Take the area of our triangular base and multiply it by the height of the prism. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.